Holmes, it's Elizabeth in the library, and I'm here to talk to you today about Banned Books Week. So Banned Books Week is something that happens the last week of every September, and it started in 1982. And the reason that happened is because there were a whole bunch of books that were getting banned and somebody kind of said, hey, you know what? I don't know how cool this is. Let's let some people know about Banned Books Week. Uh, let's know about let people know about banned books and we'll highlight them during Banned Books Week. Yeah, try to say that like even three times and we'll see how you do. Obviously, I don't do very well. So I'm just excited about Banned Books Week because it's kind of interesting. If you look at it, actually, I think all of us have read a banned book. A lot of the books that are on the classic banned book list are books we had to read in high school, like To Kill a Mockingbird, The Lord of the Flies, A Separate Piece, just all kinds of books. I recently was in a class and we went down a list and I was asking anyone like, hey, have you read this book? Have you read this book? And it was pretty funny because we all realized we had read all of these banned books. The biggest one people are usually surprised about is that the Bible is a banned book and the Harry Potter series has all been banned. So as banned book week comes up, I just want to encourage you to be grateful that you get to read, celebrate the freedom you have to not be censored. And here in America, we do have tons of books. And even though they might be on some sort of list, we usually have access to them. So feel empowered, grab a book, even if it's one of the old books like To Kill a Mockingbird, and uh, have the power to read whichever banned book you want and whichever book you like, because um, it's pretty cool to be able to read. And that's it. That's your little notice about Banned Books Week. I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoy it. See you later. Bye.